Hi guys, Dave here with you. Thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do give us a like, a share, a comment. You know, all those things really help us out a lot. Today, we're gonna do an Asian inspired meal. First thing I'm gonna do is prepare a couple of beautiful pork tenderloins. I'm gonna marinate them in some tonic water. Tonic water has got some sugars in it and it's got some citrus in it that really help break down the tissue in the pork and it just absolutely makes these pork tenderloins wonderful and we're also going to add a little bit of extra lime oh can you see that bubbling that's kind of cool so i've already squeezed this lime and let's just get as much of the juice out of it as we possibly can so we're going to let that marinate in there let's put a little salt in there too but not too much put the lid on it Give it a little shake. So while we're letting that marinate for a few minutes, uh, let's have some rice on the side. So because this is an Asian inspired meal, I'm gonna add some sesame oil. You don't wanna get too carried away because sesame oil is very strong, but delicious. Now I'm using basmati rice. I find that basmati rice has a tendency to really require less care to make it not stick together and get real clumpy and we do need to add a little bit of salt all right guys now while we're waiting for the rice to do its thing and get cooking and our tenderloins to get marinated let's make a couple of sauces one of the sauces i want to make for the pork is i want to have some honey soy it's sweet saltiness uh, i'm going to put a generous amount of honey in there because i've got two pork tenderloins to do and I want to put about that much honey in there and then we're just going to take some soy sauce and use just really just about the same amount so let's put some soy sauce in there and I've got the grill on and I'm going to put this over here to start getting warm now the next sauce I want to make is just a real easy sriracha mayo so we'll take a little bit of mayo like so all right and then we'll do some sriracha Let's just put this on here to start getting warmed up as well. For seasoning, I've got some of this spicy Szechuan. Let's check and see how our rice is looking. Yeah, it's coming along. And we'll give our sauces a, a quick stir. Well, that's looking great. Came out nice. So we can move these guys to the back corner just to stay warm for us. This dinner is brought to us by Grill Greats, and thank you, Grill Greats, for all your support and help. We really do appreciate it. I've got full coverage of Grill Greats on my grill, five burner charboil uh, performer series, and I've got all of these are up, and I got one down so that I can do a little searing on it. All right, let's check this rice one last time. I did turn it off. Uh oh, look at that. Oh, man. That looks like some good, good rice. That's going to come out nice and fluffy. We'll just leave the lid on it. It's turned off. It's time to move on to the next step. And that is where we take our pork loins that have been marinating for a good 15 minutes now. And uh, we've got the grill on. Let's turn this on high. And we're gonna sear these pork chops. Get some good grill marks in them. Grill grates, grill marks, doesn't get any better than that. Listen to this. Oh yeah. Perfect. We'll let those sizzle for a few minutes. All right, let's roll these guys over. Pretty cool how these grill grate tools just are made just to work the way they do. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Get some nice grill marks going on there. I personally like to see grill marks. I think it adds a lot to the presentation of the meal. It's just like any other grilling, you are caramelizing the meat right there. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do both. I'm not just gonna get the grill marks on it, but that's why I've got this one rails down uh, so that I can, yeah, I'm gonna have grill marks, but I'm also gonna put the, the pork loins on there to fill in the space between the grill marks and get that caramelization crust going in that way as well. Again, that's the beauty of these grill grates is you can have rails up, rails down, 
you can mix them you can use that great griddle uh, that is the insert for here the versatility of these things is just incredible all right let's set our sauces off to the side they're plenty warm enough yeah let's take our pork loin see what it's looking like on the other side oh yeah looking good okay so now what I want to do is I want to turn this up yep I want to put this guy right here to get that sizzle in between the grill marks and it doesn't take long to do. Okay, there you go. See how that fills in the space in between? I'm going to let this guy rest up here for a minute while we're waiting on his brother to get done down here. Get some going on the edge as well, and the other side. Yeah. Going like that. And while that's doing that, I'm going to turn these down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, starting to get some of that caramelizing going in there. Yeah, looking good. All right put you up there and now we'll do your brother down here all right now I'm gonna turn this on low and I'm gonna put both of these guys on here and we're going to brush them with our honey soy sauce. Honey soy sauce as a glaze. Okay. And let's turn them over. Do the other side. Yeah. Nice honey soy glaze. You're not going to believe how, how tasty this is. You're going to want to make this over and over and over again. All right, let's get our grill grate thermometer going here and check the temp. And it's at 104, which is exactly what we want. We're gonna put this guy up here and check that temp. And that is at 117, that's okay. Because we want them to just kind of rest up there and cook a little slowly now while we do some more cooking. Turn these guys back up, and we are going to make grilled pineapple. So, so delicious. And I cut them extra thick. Uh, let's turn that on low, and these guys on low. And we'll shut the lid. Let that cook for just a few minutes, because I really want those uh, tenderloins to start coming up to about 135 or so. Uh, pork's supposed to be done at 140. I know that the thickest part of this is gonna need to be 140 to 142 uh, to be done in the middle. All right, let's check and see how we're doing. Look how good this tool works. It's just, so cool that they invented this. I mean, it's perfect for the system. Let's check and just see what one's looking like for the grill marks. Yeah, it's come off. It actually could be a little hotter. Let's turn these two up. While we got it open, let's check our temp. This thing's got a timer on it too, which is really cool. All right, that guy is up to 115. And this guy is up to, well, it says 133 there. Yeah, 134, 135. It looks like this is a little hotter area over here. So we're going to put this over here. All right, let's see how it's going. Oh yeah, 133. Okay. And this guy, 118. He, he may have to go back on the heat. Let's check our pineapples. Okay, I'll take that all day long. 
all day long. That's where the flavor is. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna let this guy kinda sit over here in the heat. This guy's almost done, but we're gonna let that guy sit in the heat a little bit. Turn that to about medium. And we're gonna turn these two on medium because I also want to char some romaine. So what I want to do is I want to brush a little bit of the sesame oil on it, or drizzle some on it, I should say, and some black pepper. All right, like so. All right, let's shut the lid, let the magic happen for a few minutes. Okay, and we'll flip this guy over. Oh, he got done. All right, let's put this guy back up here now to rest for a little while. And we're gonna put our sauces back on so that they can be getting warmed up. Let's sauce our pork one more time. Yeah, looking good. Check our pineapples. Now you can see why I cut these thick because every time I've ever tried to do grilled pineapple and it's thin, they just fall apart. So this way, they don't fall apart. And let's check out our lettuce. Yeah, coming along nice. Actually, let's just turn them over and let them let them cook on that side. Let's take a look. Oh, does that look wonderful? Does that look like a good dinner? It's already looking great to me. How's our pork doing? Yeah, 136, 142 near the end, I would expect that to be a little more done. That says 149, and that says 142. So these, these guys really, they're done. Let's flip our lettuce one more time. Using our fuel grate tool. You wouldn't think it, but boy, that char on that lettuce is just really good. We're getting some grill marks there. See how our pineapples are looking. Oh yeah, okay. These guys are supposed to be done too. They should be tender and they're thicker, so they might take a minute. All right, I'm gonna take the pork off and put it on this cutting board and let it rest for a few minutes. I'm going to turn all of these off because basically everything's done here. Let's check our rice. Oh yeah, oh, look how fluffy that is. Oh man, yeah. Cool. Guys, I think we're done. Does that look good? I mean, that looks perfect. Juicy, oh, perfect. Perfect. Let's serve up some dinner. Put it on the plate like that. Oh, can you see the juiciness there? Oh, oh boy. Let's put a little bit of rice on the side. There. And we gotta have some pineapple. Go with it. Put that into some pieces. And then some beautiful charred romaine. Now, for drizzling, let's put our honey soy glaze on the pork and let's drizzle some of this sriracha mayo on our lettuce. I want to drizzle a little bit more sesame oil on the rice and some of that Szechuan sauce to kick it up. Now, does that look like a wonderful plate of Asian-inspired dinner? Try the pork first. Oh, so juicy. Mm, mm, mm. Pineapple, let's try that next. Mmm. Super sweet. And got that charred flavor just like you want. That's really good. Okay, now for a little bit, 
of our grilled lettuce. How about that? Oh, and it's delicious. Really, really good, guys. Go figure. Charred lettuce. It's delicious. We gotta get a forkful of our rice with our Szechuan spice on it. Mmm. Oh, I love Szechuan flavoring. It's, it's, it's sweet but spicy. Well, guys, there you have it. A full Asian-inspired dinner cooked on the grill on the grill grates. I hope you'll try it. My, my goal is to give you inspiration to try new things and, and use your grill and your griddle in different ways. And if you want to check out grill grates, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, so please go check those guys out. Hey, stick around. Let's just see what's next with Dave. Thanks.